social proof. So, 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 so darn important. Because like I said, you gotta work on your offer, and why the hell should somebody wanna do business with you? <coughs> what makes you better? So this is kind of like social proof then. Everybody remember this sign? And that's social proof now. And we're living in that age. Because that, I pay attention to. I see that more than I see the left. I barely go anywhere. All of us are in front of our computers all day. You see that, you don't see this. Uh, because McDonald's figured out that serving a billion will help you get more people in the door. It's not their first, you know, whatever. McGriddle or <laughs> McRib or <laughs> whatever else. Uh, and over here, it's kind of how we do things now, right? So 88% of consumers believe that what you read online is as real as a personal recommendation. That's the world we live in today. That's what we help for lunch. That's what we do everything else. So what should you and I do as marketers when we know this is the truth? We all do Yelp for picking a place for dinner, but when it comes to our website, we don't, we don't have any, any particular numbers of burgers we served or you know, tens of thousands of people signed up or anything like that. Um, so Basecamp, they use this. It says 285,000 people used Basecamp last year. And if I go to their website and I'm like, should I use this? I'm gonna read that and say, oh yeah, I think so. I think I'm gonna use this. If they had to figure it out, I think I'm gonna use this. Or if you scroll down the page, you see all of these testimonials. There's like 200 of them. Literally, do that after hour. Like after, scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll. I'm sure they did some testing because I, I wasn't part of the marketing department. Um, this company, it's called dmv.org, just wanted to share a study, this isn't my study, but, um, and they were trying to get more people to, to fill out the little car insurance coat. And what they were trying to do is how do I actually increase it? So they did some CRO, conversion rate optimization, and they thought if I just add the state in which the guy is in, or the person, the woman, the man, whoever, so they put Nebraska or whatever, and that increased 3.9% you know, percent in revenue. And they were like, that's not, we're not done yet. They actually go, anybody know the study? No, right? Nobody knows the study? So they actually made it like a car. And they put, joined 1.9 million Americans who searched DMV.org for, for uh, car insurance rates. And there's a big uh, uh, Facebook button with 277,000 likes to that page. How much do you think they increased their revenue? 74, 75%. I attribute all that to that car shape. <laughs> that was it. That's what your designer would tell you. It's the shape. I mean, maybe. But it's the 1.9 million number that we can't resist. So, is that enough reason for us? to go and work on that. I mean, it's, we gotta build a social proof first, but once you have it, use it. Um, this company, I used them for our uh, help desk. They actually took all the testimonials and turned them into their retargeting banners. So that when you leave their website, you see their banner ads, you now have coats and whatever, testimonials from I've seen people use testimonial videos that they made as retargeting videos on YouTube. If you don't sell, let somebody else sell for you. 